today, Sergeant No Rep here, the greatest judge never judge, and welcome to the judge's locker room. You guys can join the judge's locker room as well, just by clicking that subscribe button down below. Anyway, today's video, I'm going to do the top seven, seven because it's a perfect number, um, things you need to know about the 2020 CrossFit Games rule book or the 2020 CrossFit Games season rule book. Um, if you haven't seen it, my last video you can see in the TV here, I did Dave Castro making cuts at the 2019 CrossFit Games. Uh, so you can just, uh, I'll put the link up above, but you can just watch this video too. Uh, I had fun making it, just cutting everybody's heads into it. Uh, but anyway, we'll move on to the rule book here now. So, the 2020 uh, CrossFit Games rule book, you can see here, we'll make it as a big screen. Okay, so we have it on the big screen here. So, you can see the um, 2020 CrossFit Games rule book, there's some new features here. So, I'm just going to highlight the, uh, the new one. So, first of all, uh, I guess the main thing to know is that the 2020 uh, CrossFit Open it starts October 10th. Uh, at 5 p.m. and the workouts will be released on October 17th, uh, 24th, 31st, November 7th at 5 p.m. Uh, so to qualify the games, the same, uh, the top 20 athletes from the Open will qualify and as, long, and as well as the uh, national champions for the countries. Now one thing I kind of wish that they would have put in here but they did not was kind of like a minimum threshold or a minimum work requirement that you had a rank in the top let's say 2,000 in the open to make it to, to the games as a national champion, and they didn't do that. So one thing that they did change here, uh, buh, 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 I don't see it right here, but anyway, um, the national championship will be backfilled. So let's say Matt Frazier wins the United States, obviously for the open, uh, but he decides, oh, I'm done with going individual, I'm gonna go join CrossFit Mayhem, they have an open spot for male, and I'm gonna go team this year. Well, last year that spot wouldn't have been backfilled. This year now, let's say Noah Olsen comes in second, uh, he will now get the invite, invite to the CrossFit Games that way. So that's a, a little change there. You remember last year, Joe Scally, he stopped doing the Open because he was going to go team. And at, the, at that point, he was in first place and he didn't want to take a spot away from a fellow Italian. So that was kind of a change. That was number uh, two. So number three, there's been a little, um, so it's, I think it's one point. 19 if you want to go look at it there's been a, a adjustment to how they address minor and major penalties they laid it a little better in the rule book okay so for number four um right here we have it this is something that's already been known you can see new uh up here uh basically outside events so the sanctionals have permission now which everybody knew was going to happen but it's in writing uh to use the open rankings as an invite to their sanctional bank so say let's say the um, the Atlas Games in Canada here, um, they want to invite the top 30 people from the Open. They have permission to do that now and use that leaderboard. Uh, and CrossFit says by December 16th, they'll have the Open leaderboard and video uh, reviews all finalized by, sorry, I said October, by uh, December 16th. So that's the, uh, the plan. So also, um, there's going to be a new affiliate leaderboard. Um, that's number five. I don't know. Uh, it's kind of here or there, whatever. So basically it says, as part of the Open CrossFit Inc. will host uh, leaderboard ranking for all affili affiliates in good standing. So make sure you pay your dues out there. Uh, each affiliate will appear on the affiliate leaderboard once they have a member registered in the Open. So as long as you have one member in the Open, you'll get ranked on the affiliate leaderboard. Uh, there is no additional registration process required for an affiliate to appear on the leaderboard. Every athlete who selects an affiliate during the Open, so you know when you do the Open, you put what, uh, box your affiliate with so that would then put you on the leaderboard under that one uh, unaffiliated gyms will not appear on this leaderboard uh, athletes will be displayed in a pub leaderboard linked to the main open leaderboard so kind of neat mm -hmm. nothing too big so number six i think this is a big one one that i really liked we'll just click here it's 1.31 uh, i believe um so throughout the open and the beginning of the first workout, the top 40 men and the top 40 women on the overall worldwide games leaderboard each week will be required to submit a video for review. So in the prior rule books, in the prior opens, um, CrossFit wouldn't ask athletes to submit uh, a video until the end um, and they would pick one. So this time if you're in the top 40 for men or women, 
you'll be required that week so each so 20.1 20.2 20.3 so a guy like say matt frazier is going to be the top 40 the whole time he'll have to re submit all his videos and they'll be reviewed along the line so that should shorten up the process and that should catch if there's any cheaters that uh get in there so that should catch them a little bit early um so again back to the the scoring thing it talks about if you want to read uh, 1.31 uh, how penalties will be required there as well so Number seven, the final one, is the new uh, drug testing announcement. So if you go to 5.01, basically it says go look at their drug rule book. Uh, so that's your drug testing program. You can find that on the CrossFit Games website. Um, and what I want to look at is number 10, so reporting results. So this is new. Um, so basically, if you go to a sanctional, um, and this it's more than this, but it, it talks about how certain athletes have to report where they're at all times how they have to take drug tests at sanctionals and all that good stuff but the thing i want to look at is so you go to um, let's say the Wadapalooza and you test positive uh, in the past you could appeal that uh, and that wouldn't be announced until your appeal the, that long process was done now as soon as you test positive crossfit will release your name so let's say We'll just use my Sergeant No Rep goes to the Wadapalooza, places first, um, qualified for the CrossFit Games, but I test positive for uh, testosterone. Um, so that week when the test comes in or whatever, CrossFit will put an announcement out, uh, Sergeant No Rep tested positive for testosterone. Uh, he is currently appealing the process. Um, so your name's kind of tainted already, uh, but I think that is also kind of good to get out there earlier because before the rule book said that CrossFit would release at their own discretion. So they could withhold stuff if they wanted to. Uh, I wish this went a little further and would say that they would say who was tested. So let's say, uh, we'll just use Matt Frazier. Matt Frazier was randomly tested on October 17th, on December 12th, and May 3rd. And that's posted on their website. I, I think that will come in the future, uh, but that'd be nice to see. So just basically to sum up everything here that we have uh, that's new, if you want to go look at the whole um, rule book, you can just go do that at the CrossFit Games website. Um, but so the Open starts October 10th. Uh, the workouts are going to be released on Thursday, October 10th, 17th, 24th, 31st, and November 7th. Um, qualifying the games is unchanged through the Open, the top 20, and the national champions. No threshold to meet. Um, national champion spots will be backfilled. Uh, adjustments to what constitutes a major minor pen penalty uh, during video submissions. Uh, so basically looks at if this many little faults are found, it's a minor. If this many, it's a major. Uh, and you can also get a zero. Also, um, sanctional events are allowed to use the Open as an uh, invite to their sanctional event. Um, affiliates, there's now an affiliate leaderboard that ranks all the different affiliates that are in good standing. Um, now, if you're a top 40 or top, yeah, if you're a top 40 male or female, you have to submit that workouts video. And then also, there's new drug testing rules. Um, and just little fine things when you can be drug tested, but also that CrossFit now, before you even appeal your drug, your failed drug test, they'll release your name um, to the public. So, hope you enjoyed this quick little video, um, and you can subscribe for more stuff down below, and we'll talk to you later.